At Texas Children's Neuroscience Center, we've built the Epilepsy Monitoring Unit, or EMU, to best care for patients with seizures or epilepsy. The Epilepsy Monitoring Unit is a specialized patient care inpatient unit in the hospital used to perform day and night EEGs with video to help better understand child seizures and epilepsy. The unit consists of 12 beds and is located on the 10th floor of Texas Children's Hospital West Tower. There are two main reasons why a child might be asked to stay in the EMU. The first is to better understand staring spells, jerks, or twitches that children might have and determine if they're a seizure or not. The continuous EEG and video helps us to determine what these spells are and helps us to localize and characterize the seizure-like activity. Another reason is for detailed brain mapping to determine if the patient may benefit from brain surgery to help with their seizures. Typical stay in the EMU is anywhere from two to seven days. And the people that you see will be two specially trained physicians that are always working in the unit, also a team of dedicated nurse practitioners, advanced care providers, physician's assistants, nurses, technologists, social work, and child life will all be involved in the child's care. When a patient and family first arrive, we'll walk them through the unit, help them become familiar with what they'll see, um, and then they'll be hooked up to the EEG wires. There's a special glue that's used to apply the electrodes to the child's scalp, very similar to an outpatient EEG. Gluing the electrodes is not painful, but the glue and the air used to dry the glue feels cold and wet, and the process takes about 45 minutes. You can bring items from home that might help distract or comfort your child during the procedure, and a child life specialist is also available to help support your child during the EEG hookup. Because our electrodes are unable to get wet, you're not able to take a shower during your stay in the EMU, um, but you're encouraged to wear comfortable clothing with button-down tops so that dressing doesn't interfere with the electrodes. While you're being monitored, you're asked to not use blankets or covers so that all body movements can be seen on the video. You may also want to bring a sweater, jacket, or robe just to make yourself more comfortable. So when we designed the unit, we realized there's a caregiver that's coming along with the patients. We want to make their stay comfortable too. Um, so each patient room is private. There's a comfortable sofa bed where they can sleep next to the patient. There's a shower, a private restroom. There's a thermostat so you can adjust the temperature in the room. Having a seizure in the epilepsy monitoring unit isn't a bad thing. It helps us to further evaluate your plan of care. Your doctor may make special changes to medications to make a seizure more likely to occur. And some procedures such as sleep deprivation might be utilized in order to increase the likelihood of having a seizure. We have a team of EMU technologists that are present 24 hours a day, monitoring the patient and their brain waves. And then of course a team of nurses that are providing careful monitoring as well and medical care. When a seizure occurs, that technologist will notify the nursing staff who can come into the room and manage the child's seizure. There's also a push button so caregivers can also indicate when a seizure does occur. For children prone to having prolonged seizures, a customized plan will be in place for that child when a seizure does occur that might require having an IV placed in some children. The nurses are the first responders when a seizure does occur and rescue meds are ordered so you're well taken care of. Sometimes your referring doctor may order additional tests during your stay in the EMU, which may include lab work, MRI, PET scan, or MEG. Sometimes to better understand where seizures are starting in the brain, a scan called a SPECT might be ordered when a child's having a seizure. When your EMU stay is complete, the technologist will remove the wire streamer head and the medical team will come in and discuss restarting or any medication changes that need to be made before you leave. And a detailed report will be sent to your doctor with the results of your stay. While the hospital experience may be new for a patient or family, all of the staff here in the EMU is very familiar with caring for patients and caregivers, so we want to do everything that we can to make the experience more comfortable. If you have any questions or concerns during your stay, we're all here to help make the best possible experience that you can have.